For those of you who don't know me, my name is Miss Tasha, and today I will be teaching you this cool desert lizard. The supplies I will be using are watercolor paper, a cup of water, watercolor palette, a pencil, it could be any kind of pencil as long as it can erase. A larger round brush, medium round brush, and a little detail brush. Um, again, if you don't have these same supplies available to you or don't have them at home, you can still follow along. Go ahead and use markers, colored pencils, crayons, whatever you have. Let's go ahead and get started. Um, we will be starting with pencil. One thing that I want you guys to be careful of is not to draw too hard. Um, if you draw too hard, it'll be a lot harder to erase because we're going to be erasing it eventually. Um, and if you have lines you don't like, don't worry about it. Don't scribble over them. Just leave it. If you draw lightly, it can be erased later. So one thing I forgot to mention, I also have a paper towel here to dry my brush off on. And I'm going to start with Sharpie just because you won't see a pencil outline very well on here. But I really do recommend that you guys do use pencil for this part. So the first thing we're going to start with is the very tip of the lizard's face. And we're going to start up in the left upper corner. And it's just kind of a squiggly line. That's the top of his head. And then if I'm going too fast, you can always pause this or rewind. And then his back is another bump. And then for the beginning of his tail, we're just going to make a line there. Just continue that line a little bit. And then up at his mouth again. We're going to make it look like he's smiling with an open mouth. And then his chin and neck come down to about here. You can see where it starts to curve down there. That's about where that is. And then his first front leg. Two squiggly lines. They get fatter up here and smaller down here. And his toes, he's got three toes. And they kind of look like little blobby alien toes. And then we're going to follow this line. We're not going to draw on here. We're going to meet it on the other side and continue his belly. He has a nice round belly. And then right here, this is the front of his back leg. We're going to make that curve that way a little bit. So it kind of looks like a backward seven. And then he's got toes that stick out this way. And then a line going up. And then the back of his leg there. Just a little smile. And then here, right behind where we just finished with his leg, we're going to make a little bit of a curvy line. You can see it starts his tail. It's thinner over here than it is here. And this part we're not going to draw. We're going to do that with our paintbrush. So we're going to skip that for now. And he also has a bubbly little tongue. And Right where his first foot is, we're going to make the ground or the rock he's standing on. And it can be bumpy, it can be more straight, however you want your rock to be. And then continue it. Remember, we're not going to run through where his feet are. And then I'm going to leave a space here because I'm not using pencil and I can't erase when I put his tail here. So you guys can erase, so if you want to finish your line here, you can feel free to do that. So 
after we have our pencil lines, we're gonna take our larger round brush. And again, if you wanna use different colors or if you have different colors, uh, that's not a big deal at all. I'm gonna use this golden yellow color. And that's what his head's gonna be. So right to about his front leg, I'm gonna paint all this in with that yellow. After that, I'm going to keep using that same yellow. I'm going to put a stripe here, but it starts above his front leg. And then I'm going to put another stripe, and your stripes can be fatter, they can be skinnier. Um, you could have more or less. But I'm going to keep going with the stripes until I get to about where his tail starts. Make some of these ones a little skinnier. I'm gonna stop there and look, you can see I'm not putting stripes on his legs. I'm gonna rinse and dry my brush and I'm going to use this nice bright blue. For the bright blue, I'm gonna fill in his legs. also going to fill in right here next to his leg with a little line of blue. That's going to be his other leg on the other side and same with the back. And we can outline those at the end. I'm going to keep using that same blue and I'm going to just fill in wherever I have these blank stripes. And it's okay if you get a little bit of blue on top of yellow, end up with some green. He's supposed to be fun and colorful anyway. Just gonna keep filling in these stripes. And you can see mine are not perfect. I've got some green in there for sure. And then when I get to the end of his tail here, I'm actually going to start over here. And I'm going to start with just a little bit of pressure on my brush and then I'm gonna press down more as I get closer to his body. And so it starts little and then you press down more and it gets fatter. And then you can go back and change the shape a little up here. Don't do it too close to here because you don't have a lot of uh, leeway there. But we want his tail nice and fat up here. And your tail can curve a different way. It can be longer, it can be a little shorter. This is your art. Next thing I'm going to do is the rock he's standing on and I'm going to use this deep red clay color. And if you don't have the same colors, again, it's not a big deal. I'm just using more warm colors for the background so it looks like he's in the desert. I'm gonna go ahead and fill in this rock he's on. I'm not going to paint to the edge um, because that'll help our paper from curling up, getting too crinkly. I'm 
just carefully paint around his tail. If you get a little bit of red on there, again, it's not a big deal. And you can see I'm not painting my edges. Done with that, I'm gonna take another warm deserty color. I like this tan here. And I'm going to paint this part of the background. And just be careful when you're going around your lizard. If you want to switch to your medium brush for this part, it might help you. Um, just avoid getting too much color from the background on top of your lizard, but you don't have to. Again, you can see I'm not painting my edges up here. And then don't forget to fill in underneath his belly. I'm just gonna do this carefully. If you get a little bit of background color on him, it's okay. All right. And after that, I'm gonna use my medium brush, just cause it's a little smaller. And I'm gonna use this bright pink color. But you can use any pink or any red, and we're just going to fill in his tongue. So once you have all this filled in, um, wait for it to dry. If you have pencil lines that you don't like, once it's dry, you can erase those, and then we're going to outline with our black. And you can either use a black Sharpie. If you're using a Sharpie or marker, wait till your picture is dry. Um, or you can use a little detail brush and black paint. So I'm going to, this is pretty much dry, so I'm going to finish outlining his tail with the Sharpie since I started with that. And Sharpie will be a lot easier than using a detail brush. Um, that does take some practice to get used to, but I do encourage you guys to practice with that if you have one available. And I'm gonna outline this part of his leg. So go ahead and make sure you have your whole lizard outlined. And I'm gonna switch to my detail brush I'm using the black and I'm going to start with his eye. My other one, I had the eye just like this, but this one, I want my eye open. So I'm just gonna paint that in. I'm gonna give him a little nostril here. And then I'm gonna go ahead and around lizard's legs, they're very wrinkly. So if you add just a couple little lines around there, 
it'll look like they're more wrinkly. He's got wrinkles. And then around the back leg too. Got some nice wrinkles. And then we're gonna outline all these lines and you can do it straight or you can do it squiggly. I don't know if you can see that there. If you do it bumpy, it'll look like your lizard has more texture. So I think that's what I'm gonna stick with. But you can do yours how you want. And I'm gonna do this around every stripe. be careful here too since we're using black not to go too crazy um, just because it's easy to cover everything in black and you can't take it off so we want to make sure we can still see our colors that we've painted on there after I have all my stripes outlined I'm going to go ahead and add some more little squiggles in the middles of the stripes on his face a little bit. Just kind of all over his body. And these ones don't have to reach all the way across like the stripes do. After I have those, I'm going to add some little dots and be careful not to make these too big because we don't want to make him look like he has spots. We just want to make him look like he has texture. These are going all over. If you want some spots on his legs, you can do that. They can be on his face. They're mostly going to be on his body. You can see my spots and my dots. They're not all perfect. Some of them turned into lines. That's okay. That's not a big deal. Put some on his leg. Put some on his tail. And I'm gonna add a couple little lines right there. And then I'm gonna finish outlining my rock down here. If you guys haven't outlined your rock, go ahead and do that. And then if you want to make it look a little extra textured, you can just add some bumps on it. Add some little dots if you want. And if you want any other details that we don't have on there, go ahead and do those now. And then when you are done, Sign your work. And I just want you guys to see that I did two of them and they're both different. So your art is going to be different than mine and that's okay. That is the great thing about art. It can all be different and still be good. I hope you guys enjoyed this lesson. If you did, go ahead, hit like, and subscribe on our channel. Um, feel free to have your parents send in pictures of your art. I always love to see what you guys create. And if you have any suggestions of things you really want to paint, like, oh, I really want to paint a fish or an island, go ahead and let us know, and you might see that in one of the next lessons. See you next time.